what is up fam welcome back to leslie jones tarot hello to my beautiful scorpio zodiac signs guys today is my beautiful birthday so i am celebrating by giving y'all some messages of course <laughs> so i'm so excited i am like on the i'm at like the first beginning so i'm like in between libra and scorpio so i tend to like um gravitate towards scorpio more because i'm more of a scorpionic type of person I'm very emotional I'm very deep honey I will cry and 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 be emotional over any old thing so I'm more Scorpio energy but I do relate to Libra as well so um but I am a, a real live Scorpio okay Scorpio for life <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna dive in with this message guys we're gonna try to keep it simple and sweet but we're gonna see what is the messages that you need to know so let's see here clarify the energy of Scorpio what is it that they need to know for today or this weekend should I say what is it that they need to know Okay, so your message, oh, is base chakra. Okay, Scorpio, you know, we've been doing this for, um, yeah, since I've been doing this for a year and a year and a half now, okay? Your focus is your base chakra. Your focus is your money, your wealth, your finances, okay? Your stability, your home life, your work life, you know, hustling, that type of energy. So that's your focus right now. What's at the bottom? Deception and envy. Okay, woo! So this could just tell me that there's somebody in your energy that uh, may be trying to take from you or taking advantage of you or throw you off. This could also be people that are looking at you, okay, that feel some type of way because you're making boss moves, Scorpio, okay? So they could be trying to send you that energy, uh, that negative energy, that envious type of energy where they're trying to knock you off your pedestal. But baby, don't you dare fall. You ride that sucker like you're riding a bull, okay? Do you hear me? Now let's dive into this and see what messages need to come through okay let's see here i don't want to say what what the message that just came through but I, i'm going to say it somebody the the message that just came through was i hate you b okay somebody just said i hate you b-i-t-c-h all right so there is a hater there is a person that's out there that does not like what you got going on scorpio they are seeing you rise up and they freaking hate it. It's bothering them. I mean, to the point where, like, I feel like I'm bullying. Like, I feel like I'm getting hot. Okay? Somebody is pissed that you are doing your thing, Scorpio. Let's see. Clarify the space shot. What, what are the messages that they need to know? What are the messages that my beautiful Scorpios need to know? The strength card. What are the messages that my Scorpio needs to know? The moon. What are the messages that Scorpio needs to know? The Knight of Swords. I told you, somebody is a hater. Three of Wands. Three of Wands is about your ships coming in. Okay? This is progress. This is progression. Okay? This is, you've already put some things in action and now things are starting to come in to you. Okay? So if you've been working your butt off and you haven't seen any progress, well, you're about to see it. You're about to start seeing that rise. Say you started a YouTube channel, right? And you're like, man, my YouTube channel isn't moving. You know, I'm still working. I'm still believing. I'm still focusing, right? And the next thing you know, out of nowhere, bam, 200 subscribers. Bam, 1,000 subscribers. Bam. You know, it's Scorpio season. So people are going to be hating because Scorpio, you're in your energy, baby. Okay? So what's going on is they want you to have strength, courage, and confidence. Keep doing you, Scorpio. Because the thing is... <laughs> they just said, if you ain't doing it right, you ain't got haters. So apparently you're doing it right, Scorpio, because people are hating. And that's okay. Let them hate. Okay, haters going to hate, right? But that's the point. They're hating because you're doing something right. You're doing something that's, that's making things possible for you. Okay, and people are looking at it like, how is Scorpio doing this? How is this possible? People are angry. Okay, the moon energy. Yeah, there's a hidden person that hasn't came forward yet. But somebody want to come out and say some, some foul stuff to you, but they haven't yet. All right, the moon and the knight of swords. So don't be surprised when you, sorry about that, guys. Don't be surprised when somebody comes out and says something negative because what they're trying to do is they're just trying to throw you off, okay? Yeah, obstacles and challenges. Look at there. The tower, the tower, look, disruption. Somebody's trying to, trying to throw you off, okay? And so they're going to come at you with a dagger, okay? They're going to try to cut below the belt. They're going to try to hurt your feelings, make you feel some type of way because they're not happy with what you're doing, all right? Discontent and boredom. Look at there. <laughs> they're not happy with, with what you got going on. So they're looking at you and they're like, well, how, how is Scorpio doing all of this? They said, look at the bottom, okay? <laughs> I said, look at the bottom, three of wands, three of pentacles, king of pentacles, three, three, baby, three of wands, three of pentacles, king of pentacles. See, this is what you're working towards. King of pentacles energy. You're about to boss up Scorpio things. All this work here, three of pentacles is paying off. Look, all of this work is paying off. And this is why your ships are coming in because you've been putting in the work. 
They can't be mad at you because you've been putting that in the work. But so what? Okay. It's not your problem that they were sitting there and they were making, they said, look further. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Told you, Scorpio, you weren't happy where you were at one point. Four of Cups, okay? You were wanting more. So you've been you started this new beginning here, Page of Pentacles. It started out small, okay? They're saying, okay, I'll tell <laughs> they said this is an example. My YouTube channel, when I started my YouTube YouTube channel a year and a half ago, it started small. I started with only 20 subscribers, okay? Page of Pentacles. But Ace of Swords, I made things clear of what I wanted. I manifested clearly what I wanted in my life. And I wanted my YouTube channel to take off and to start building up. And so it has. A year later, I'm at 6,000 subscribers. That's not a lot to a lot of people, but it's a lot to enough people that they're hating, that they hate that. They look at it and say, well, how did Scorpio do it? I did it because I manifested it. I clearly spoke what I wanted, okay? Clearly made intentions of what I wanted. I asked above, so below. So you have to speak this into existence. You have to know this is what you want. Make, they're saying make things clear. And I'm not here to preach to y'all. I'm sorry, y'all, but I get excited. Um, you have to make things clear about your intentions. What you want, speak it. Write it down. Say it every day. Believe it. Because you can make it happen, Scorpio. You can make this happen. And you're going to start to see this progress coming in for you. This progress coming towards you here. Okay? But just know that there are people out there that aren't happy what you're doing. And that's okay. That's not your problem. That's theirs. All right. As long as they're still watching. Okay. <laughs> Just remember, if you don't have haters, that means you're not doing it right. Okay. So let's see. What messages does Scorpio need to know? What? Wow. What messages does Scorpio need to know? This here, this deck, guys, I am using the uh, Dreams reading cards. What messages does Scorpio need to know? Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Now, I got this exact card in my reading, okay, that I did for myself. Before I do y'all's readings, I always do a reading for myself to see what type of spread I want to do for the day. And um, I wait on the spirit to tell me which spread to do. I do a couple and they say, okay, do that one. So that's the one I do. All right. So let's read the bottom first. It says weather and natural events. Okay. This is the dream. So if you've been having these dreams about... Um, uh, like stormy weather or like um, rain and lightning and things like that. What What's your urgent in your life, okay? What's making you feel overwhelmed and is out of your control? Are you worried about how you will survive a major change, okay? Because right now, Scorpio, we are going through a change. It's Scorpio season. We're going, if you've been seeing 555, five, five, there's a lot of change that's going on in your life right now. You may be feeling like things aren't working the way that they should, you know, maybe a friendship fell out or maybe a job didn't fall through or maybe your money's looking funny. And guys, I apologize ahead of time. My little brother's in the background, so I apologize. Um, maybe some things haven't been working out the way that they should. So just know that <clears throat> you're going through a transition here. Okay, baby Scorpio, you're about to wake up and you're about to be more valuable and more stable than you've ever been in your life. Okay, let me just speak that to you. The first card, magic. <laughs> okay, number 38, shift your focus to a positive view. We are all interconnected, linked by a magic thread. Believe in yourself. You have magic in you. Scorpio, you are magic. You are all, okay? You are a freaking magician. You can create and manifest anything and everything that you want in this life, Scorpio. Any and everything you want in this life. All you have to do is put your mind to it. And I get it. Things have been chaotic. They've been all over the place. Even for me, okay? This stuff has been, it's like stuff be happening. Let me let me tell you a story. The other day I was driving, okay? Took my son to a, a football game. I knocked my damn, I almost cussed. I knocked, <laughs> I knocked my mirror off of my car. OK, so j trust me, stuff is chaotic right now, but it's OK. OK, because Scorpios, what do we do? What do we always do? We always evolve. We always uh, die is a death and a rebirth. OK, so we are. That's us. That's what we do. We're the death card. We can something can end and we can turn around and get right back up. So body number five. Look, told you five. OK, what parts of you do you need to look at more closely? What's functioning and not functioning in these areas of your life? How do you feel about your body? OK, if you've been feeling like, oh, I don't feel too good. I don't feel too uh, proud of myself. I don't feel sexy enough. I don't feel like I look good or I don't feel like um, <clears throat> and even here, look at the butterflies transformation. I don't feel like things are happening for me. I hope it's clear enough. Let me focus it. Come on, focus. There we go. If you've been feeling like stuff hasn't been happening right or you like, man, you haven't just been feeling yourself, period, spiritually, emotionally, physically, okay? It's okay. Just 
reground yourself okay base chakra reground yourself things are going to work out it's going to be fine maybe uh get up a little early do a, a cardio session or a weightlifting session or something like that okay and then number 40 take care of your needs first okay you scorpio your nurturing will benefit others only if you own needs are met first, okay? Your nurturing will benefit others only if your own needs are met first. Nurture the new in your life and watch it grow, okay? Because again, we're just going through a transformation. Number five, things are ending, things are beginning here. So with that being said, you're planting new seeds here. Some of those seeds were bad seeds that we had planted. They're not going to work. We watered and watered and watered and tried to nurture them. They didn't work. So what do you do? You have to go back in the house. You have to regroup, okay? And you have to figure out, okay, that seed didn't work. So that's, it's a dead one, okay? Right? Let me, let, let me go back in and recalibrate, okay? Let me reshift my focus here. Sometimes we have to end situations and then refocus on new beginnings, okay? So maybe a situation in our life didn't work out, but it, it was because it wasn't meant for us, okay? It was not meant for us. So we have to let that go. This could be relationships, jobs, friendships, family members, okay? And then you have to turn around and or, or, or new beginnings like maybe maybe you started off a business or a YouTube channel maybe you maybe you started a YouTube channel and the videos weren't popping right it, it happens okay go back go back with the end reflect and figure out another strategy that's all you have to do sometimes you have to end one strategy to start another strategy okay so what you're going to do is you're going to recalibrate yourself. You're going to go over here and you're going to start all over. Plant some new seeds. Start some new beginnings for yourself. This could be new friendships, new relationships, okay? New job offers, okay? Putting in those new applications or refocusing your energy on um, your new business plan. Maybe your business plan didn't fall through. Maybe you got to start a new business plan. Yeah, it sucks, but that's what Scorpios do, okay? But just know whatever you're doing, is going to be successful. You're going to start seeing things coming in because we are magicians. I mean, come on. We are magical beings. Like, we can create and manifest anything in our life. And we know we're doing something right because we got the people that's looking at us and hating us. Like, I, I tried to knock Scorpio down. I tried to send. There could be people sending uh, black magic on you. So if you need to, make sure you do a protection, uh, a protection spell or ritual. Burn your white candle, clean out the energy, and then burn your black candle to protect yourself, okay? And um, that'll keep you from um, having people doing that bad black magic, the black magic on you where they're trying to like down you and stuff like that. And, you know, black magic could just be somebody speaking to you saying, oh, you'll never be nothing. You'll never be nothing in life. That that old channel ain't going to go nowhere. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. That's, that's, that's people being negative, okay? Get away from that. All right. And regroup over here somewhere where ain't nobody else said put yourself around people that want to speak positive into you. And if you feel like you need to take some time to yourself to redo that for yourself, speak that positive energy into yourself on my mirror in my bathroom. I have positive affirmations on sticky notes. OK, so every morning I wake up, I have to see those. I am beautiful. I am a successful YouTube channel. I will, I am growing into a hundred thousand subscriber channel. Like you have to, you have to speak that shit for yourself because not everybody out there wants to see you succeed and you have to remember that Scorpio. But, oh, okay. I'm going to end it there. That's it. Quit preaching. So I'm going to end it there. Beautiful Scorpios. I hope that this gives you some clarity and some insight, guys. I appreciate you so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys.